Hello YouTube. Um, I've made a cool little flyback driver. It's a um, Royer BJT flyback driver. Um, and as you can see, I've cut there to make because um, the resonant capacitor has to fit in. And they were pushing against it. It's going to be a runoff. 18 volts, 6 volt battery, 12 volt power supply. Here's all the windings. That winding is just so I can get high current. And the arcs aren't super hot yet. You can see a very thin wire that I'm going to melt. And not a very big chicken stick. I can feel the heat off the arc. It's not bright white. Oh, yeah, and that's not doing anything. I was just experimenting. But, um,. I lowered the value a bit because just with that resistor, the arcs were really bad. It was like 2 and 3 or 5 5 driver arcs. So I paralleled an extra resistor, which is a bit smaller value. They get a little bit warm. Transistors get warm. Somehow I think that's dead. I think it might be dead. I'm not sure. Th this one doesn't get hot, but this one does. So I think that one somehow might be dead. But um, yeah. A bit ugly over here. But, oh well. Alright, I'll turn it on. Okay, we're on. Here we go. Hmm. Arcs don't seem to be as hot as they usually are. Maybe there's a there must be a lot of resistance in this wire. And somehow, I think my multimeter might be stuffed. Because it says that I'm drawing like 0 0.05 amps or something. So like, and I tried to measure the voltage coming out of that high current winding. And it said it was putting out like something like 5,000 volts or so. Very hot. There we go. Yeah. I can feel the heat off them. Yeah, a bit of current. Anyway, I better stop before the whole thing overheats. Just, just 
charge it. Oh, that's really hot. This one, it's like just warm. Just. Doctor's a bit warm. Windings are really warm. Flyback's warm. Um, but yeah, I can feel the heat off that. Yeah, somehow I think that one's dead and that one's doing all the work. That's how it seems. Yes. That's the longest run I've given it and that's just boiling hot. So, buy a new one of them, transistors, and put it in there. And hopefully it works. Because I think that one's dead because at first it wasn't doing anything. And I realised that the base and collector were like shorting out together. And so I think that blew it. And now that one's doing all the work. So who knows, I might buy another one and the arcs might be like twice as big. Uh, I don't know. But um, I have to say that's one of my nicest circuit boards I've made. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> um, what else? Oh yeah, I'm trying to make a um, ZVS at the moment. You can see a 12 volt diode and resistor, and the 400 volt 1 amp diode, and then the same over here. Two MOSFETs. They both work. This one I got from the Pemrith um, J car which is my electronics stop and this one I got from Sydney J car and this one I also got from Sydney J car and those two don't work but that one does like I'll put that into the driver and it'll make a high pitch sound and I'll get a quick arc and then it shuts off oh crap I just realized I've broken a little tube um, flash tube. Damn, I like that tube. Oh well, because I was gonna, I was gonna pop it on my mot. Oh well, there goes that idea. But um, yeah, IRF, IRF five forty N. They're all the same, but that one works. Those two don't. And both of them I got from the J car in Sydney. So. I'm guessing they just bought like a whole heap of dud ones or something. Maybe just I don't know. Maybe they got damaged during the um yeah shipping or whatever. And I got a whole heap of high voltage diodes, 400 volts at one amp, five dollars for a hundred. So that's pretty good. Got lots. Don't even have enough room to unfold them. So yeah, that was pretty good. Glad I got them. Yeah, gotta fold them back up now. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Got a new soldering iron. Cause um, yeah, earlier that was all just stuck together with tape. <laughs> Because my other soldering iron decided to just die and not heat up anymore, so yeah. Anyway, this video is very long, so thank you for watching.